There once was a man whose name was Samson who made a vow to live close to God. God chose him to be a judge over Israel to fight Philistines with muscle and blood. Samson was born to deliver his people from the oppression of the Philistines. He stood alone to fight for their freedom and tried not to listen to Delilah's pleas. Samson, don't lay on the lap of temptation. Your way seems right, but your motive is wrong. The enemy's watching and waiting to trap you. If you stay much longer, your hair will be gone. When Samson was old enough to get married, he chose to wed a Philistine girl. His mom and dad said, Samson, don't do that. But they didn't know his plan was God's will. As Samson was walking over to Timnath to show his parents whom he was to wed, a young lion came out to attack him tore it apart like it was a kid. Samson, don't lay on the lap of temptation, or the way seems right, but your motive is wrong. The enemy's watching and waiting to trap you. If you stay much longer, your hair will be gone. Samson prepared a great wedding feast, but couldn't get married because he was tricked. So he caught three hundred foxes and tied their tails with a fire in their midst. The foxes' tails were getting too warm, so they burned up the orchards and Philistines' corn. The enemy gathered their mighty men. Samson was tied up and given to them. Samson, don't lay on the lap of temptation. Your way seems right, but your motive is wrong. The enemy's watching and waiting to trap you. If you stay much longer, your hair will be gone. The Philistines shouted when they saw Samson, but the Spirit of God came mighty on him. He broke all the ropes, and he picked up a jawbone, and swung till he killed all one thousand men. When he entered the city of Gaza, the Philistines thought for sure he'd be killed, but Samson ripped out the gates of the city, and carried them to the top of a hill. Samson, don't lay on the lap of Delilah. Her smile seems right, but her motive is wrong. The enemy's watching and waiting to trap you. If you stay much longer, your hair will be gone. He fell in love with pretty Delilah who lived in a valley beside the green hills. She tried to find his secret of strength, for she and the Philistines wanted him killed. Samson made jokes with all her questions, playing her games she got him in Dutch. He told his great secret and went on to sleep. Delilah the barber, gave him a butch. Samson, don't lay on the lap of Delilah. Her smile seems right, but her motive is wrong. The enemy's watching and waiting to trap you. It's too late, Samson. Your strength is now gone. They captured Samson and put out his eyes. They stuck him in prison to grind at a mill. When at the temple they made sport of Samson, he renewed his vow to do all God's will. 
He leaned on the pillars and brought down the temple, killed everyone under its roof. His family took his broken body and laid him to rest under the earth. Now Samson was strong because of God's spirit and because of the vow to God he had made. But his weakness was in Philistine women and the lust of the flesh put him in.